Okay, I just cleaned this dish with a uh, wet tissue, you know, kitchen tissue, and just wiped it, just give it a little clean. I can't remember which is the, uh, oh yeah, I can see here, because I'm hardly see with my glasses. Uh, which is the, I think that's the top side. Yeah, because it's a flipper disc, isn't it? It's a flipper. You know, like, like the dolphin. <laughs> Uh, there, there's uh, something else coming, be uh, flying in sometime, uh, I think, next week or whatever. Uh, let's just see how, see how this looks. Oh, it seems to be playing okay at the moment. Um, no problem there. So, I'll stop this here. Uh, yeah, that's the main menu. Uh, looks okay. Looks okay. Um, of course, I uh, don't like the sound effects, really. <coughs> um, trying to think what I know is what which. And generally, I don't, I don't like the mix. I mean, the laser disc is pretty damn good. Can't remember what mode is that switched into. Um, Of the 1930s, even the great city of Metropolis did not fear the ravages of oh, yeah. the worldwide depression. He had time to fear and Shall I? The job of yeah, all right. Of the the great don't, don't, don't usually. Whose reputation for clarity and truth had become a symbol of hope for the city of Metropolis. Let's get a pause in the sound for a sec. Wow. Wow. Let's have a look at what's going on here. This this is an early DVD. Uh, I got the H DVD, I think. Uh, I haven't tried that out. I doubt it's going to play the HD. I doubt the H DVD will play. Um, uh, I think I've got it on Blu-ray as well. Both, which is the same as the H DVD and this, and it's like there, you know, because I don't think I really like the uh, the added. You know, I prefer the theatrical. You know, because I want a flashback. You know what I mean. Um, that's what they should have done with this first release, but yeah, uh, it's called um, <clears throat> Super Nilkin. Yeah, <laughs> but still, you know, I I I I played this once to uh, to some people, and oh wow, they they were like, whoa, like I think they were tripping their heads off. You know what I mean? They were like, just these opening credits, these opening titles was just like, you know, everything, the sound moving off screen to the surrounds and then vice versa and wow.
there, but looks okay. Looks okay. The question here is, is my laser disc? <laughs> Um, which I know, I think, I played, uh, I think my last time I played the laser disc was over um, two years ago, maybe. And of course, this was the, the first experimental, the first experimental um, 70 millimeter Dolby Stereo release with split surround. Wicked. You know, the way the, the titles come up and then they they part they part away. Try my other um, let's go back to the begin. Fast forward. The symbol of hope for the city of Metropolis. Not sure if it's enough there. Uh, activate that. I don't know if it's going to do much because I know what's the processing going through up there before it's getting down to there. Might might not do much. I'll have to see. I'll have to give it a list, a little listen. Batteries on that remote are getting dud fucking flat. I didn't hit that. Because the voltage is getting low. Superman. <sighs> okay. Now we'll get our uh, buy some batteries. See? If you wobble these remote, these stupid dental remotes, yeah. It's just using up voltage on your battery for Christ's sakes. And then when you want to use it. It's like it's hardly got much voltage for to send the um, the infrared signal. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
Was I kind of imagining that? what I'm looking for on the, uh, the opening credits so if I turn the camera around. I'm just looking for anything that might be phase shifting or change, you know, for any sort of, any anything crazy, you know, because you see where all these titles are moving, right? Yeah? And then that kind of shifts upward, yeah? And then this one shifts downward slightly, yeah? See? See what I mean? And then this one, a bit different. And then it kind of parts. Wow. I mean, that's... Yeah, let's go. Yeah, that had a sort of... That had a sort of kind of face shift, like... Pitching upwards slightly on the... Marlon Brando one. And then the Gene Hackman credit coming up. Mm. And the Richard Donner credit. Wicked. Oh, and the Superman. Yeah, this is when John Williams had the magic. This is why he lost the Oscar for that Star Wars, Disney, <coughs> whatever that was. Basically, he's used all the magic up, you know? And he had to go to using bloody recycling the flipping... Oh, God, who wants to listen to that rubbish? I mean, it's just fanboy shit, isn't it? But this, this score is like... Wow, brilliant. That's that's brilliant on the even on the uh, the surrounds. How many how many how many in total speakers on running on the surrounds? Ah a lot. <laughs> wow. Super brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. And, of course, you've got the isolated score. That's a, that was a good bonus on there. You know, you don't get that on that bloody Star Wars rubbish, Disney rubbish now, do you? Um, a bonus or isolated score. Superman! And Richard Donner is absolutely right, you know, about the, you know, because the music sounds it, doesn't it? But, oh, and then you get that Hans Zimmer rubbish with that, what was it called? Yeah, exactly. 
so unmemorable, isn't it? This is more. Oh, wacky! Oh, oh, God. The bass and the sub bass and the middle and the highs and the. Wow. Da -da 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 -da. Wow. <laughs> Five minutes. Well, of course, if that was running. Um, the wasset uh, speed, that would be a little bit over five minutes. Wow, that is awesome.